Now we are going to discuss the index loss. First, in multiplying two powers of the same base, we can add the exponents. For example, a raised to m times a raised to n. And since they have common base, which is a, we can just add their exponents. We have m plus n. For power of a power, that means a certain base is raised to a power and then raised to another power, we have a raised to m raised to n. We can just multiply the exponents. So that's m times n. To obtain a power of a power of a product, we have to raise each factor of the product to the specified power and then multiply. So we have a times b times c raised to n. We can somewhat distribute the exponent n to all of the terms as long as it is uh, being multiplied. Number four, to obtain a power of a fraction, we will raise the numerator and the denominator to the specified power and divide afterwards. This is similar to the product earlier wherein we somewhat distributed the exponent n to both terms. In dividing one power of a specified base by another power of the base, we have to subtract the exponents. For example, a raised to m over a raised to n, which is equivalent to a raised to the denominator at uh, the exponent of the numerator minus the exponent of the denominator. And this is only applicable if m is greater than n. Let us solve these exercises, and I will be solving the third one. I'll just rewrite it here. We have 2a squared x cubed over 6a cubed times x, and this is raised to 2. We have to use all the index laws in simplifying this expression. We can start off with the power here. And since all the terms are being multiplied and divided, we can just simply distribute it, distribute the exponent 2 to all of the terms. We have 2 raised to 2, a raised to 2 times 2 because a already has an exponent of 2 x raised to 3 times 2 and for the denominator we have 6 raised to 2 a raised to 3 times 2 and x raised to 2 and let's simplify we have uh, 4 a so from the index loss if we have Two exponents we can just multiply this we have 2 times 2 we have 4 x raised to 6 over 36 a raised to 6 x raised to 2 and let's cancel the terms that we can we can express again we can express this numerator as 4a raised to 4 x raised to 2 times x raised to 4. Take note that I separated the exponent 6 into 2 plus 4 and that is because the exponent of the x on the denominator is 2 so that we can just easily cancel them out later. Similarly, since we have 4 on the numerator, if we can factor the 36 in terms of 4, then we should do that. 36 divided by 4 is actually 9. So we have 4 times 9. And for the a, let's factor this as a squared 
times a to the fourth. We chose these factors because the exponent of a on the numerator is 4, and we can just cancel these terms out. And lastly, we have x squared. Now let's go to the cancellations. This term is the same with this, so cancel out. For a to the fourth, let's cancel that out. And also we have 4, 4 and 4. So what's left in the numerator is only x to the fourth, and with the denominator we have 9a squared.